Hello and welcome to this video on visualization capabilities of the AC500 controller programming software Control Builder Plus. The objective of this video is to present you with some working examples outlining the integrated visualization functionalities. The created visualization can be used in different ways. Within the Open Control Builder Plus project it is a great help in testing the controller programs. It is also a useful tool for field commissioning and troubleshooting. As the licensed product PS541 HMI can be used as full screen visualization without access to the project. Web visualization facilitates remote data monitoring from any part of the plant or geographical location. As alternative to the PC and iPad, an iPhone or an Android with compatible micro browser applications can be used. Well, the Control Builder Plus software encompasses the visualization functionality. Here is an example project with different visualization and screens. It is possible to create intuitive and efficient graphical screens using dynamic and static objects. Since this visualization option is integrated into the controller programming software, there is no need for creating any additional controller connection or symbol file import. Just by going online with the controller we could see the live data, all we need to do is a simple online login function. This saves a lot of engineering time and implementation cost. What we see now is a screen labeled as displays. Such labels could be simply a static one or made dynamic with properties, such as font color, size, position, text, background etc. Here, we demonstrate simple functions like changing the start and end angle of a Pi object, Simple usage of industrial gauges or display dials, bar graphs and trends. In a bar graph, we could change the orientation to be vertical or horizontal filling with color animation. The bar color could be a single one or multicolor indicating different ranges. As for trends, we could have either online trends or historical trends or both. In case of historical trends we need to specify the location of the data which could be the controller or computer. On this screen there are two histograms displaying the values from an array in two different ways. In the trend display we are able to define the range or scaling, left or right orientation of the toolbar, pen color, the tolerance band, overlay color etc. The toolbar of the trend display contains navigation buttons and zoom functions for a better view and analysis of the trend data. Here you see an example of various control elements, like buttons, slider, numerical display and objects. We could animate them in many different ways to suit our control and monitoring philosophy. For a better and easy data entry we could also call up the online keyboard. This is very helpful in cases where a lot of numerical and alphanumerical data are to be handled. Well, objects can also be made dynamic in terms of their physical properties, like width, breadth, height, etc.
moving an object from its current position based on a value or event is also possible. We could use a program to further influence of objects dynamic properties, like rotation, visibility, colors, etc. Grouping of different objects together to create a customized object is another good feature here. This will allow us to create application specific objects. This is a group of different single objects. This is a grouped object. Ok, now let's have a look at their response to different actions. Alarm reporting is efficiently handled with the help of alarm display table. Alarm text color could be customized to see the conditions, like alarm arrived, acknowledged, etc. It is possible to acknowledge alarms collectively or individually. Past alarms could be viewed using scrolling function. Here you see an example of various elements like visualization in visualization buttons. language selection and call up of external application or online help. This was a presentation of selected capabilities of Control Builder plus visualization. Thank you for attending this video. If you want to learn more about AC500 range, please use the following link and contact the ABB sales department of your country. Or if you need support while configuring and programming of your AC500 system, you can contact our helpline support. For general comments and questions about this video don't hesitate to contact us.